That's definitely good. Cause we're gonna be working around those guys. Ah. Let's go ahead and see if this is where I think it is. No, it's not. That's okay. Well, I know where that is, but there, I was thinking there's something there I need to do. But there isn't. Not yet. Well, there's nothing there I need to do, actually, but... That's that broken elevator that we... Well, it looks like it's an elevator, but it, we can't use it. But now that we got our battery... Well, a battery. Oh, more snakes. <gasps> Fuck you. Fucking hate these stupid ass snakes. Oh, yeah, I remember. You're supposed to zigzag. And then they won't get you. I forgot about that. But, FYI, zigzag when the snakes are falling. Because it makes it harder for them to get you. We got that creepy crow statue. Lurking right there. Now, this is the spot we can actually do something at. The battery has been taken out. We'll examine this before we shove it in. With this, you can operate the elevator. Well, that's helpful. Bam. Drop it in. Elevator now works. Now we can take the elevator back up anytime so we don't have to take the snake pool path. But, there's also something else we need to do down here. I should have showed you guys. There's a waterfall right there. You could obviously see, but I should have showed the text. You, if you go up to it, it says like something like there's a path behind the waterfall, but I can't reach it. The water is flowing too strongly or something. Something of that nature. Maybe not. It says something, though. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. And we caused that by draining this pool. So we can actually shut off this water. Now that we have the um, elevator back in working order. Sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. So the pool fills back up. But somehow it doesn't overflow. Even though there was seemingly endless flowing water coming down that waterfall. Don't ask me. It's a game. But, yeah. Now we can take the path behind the waterfall. And do some more exploring to see what's down there. What's down there, who knows. We're going to find out soon enough, though. What secrets the path behind the waterfall holds for us? Ugh, it's creepy looking. Is that something I can grab? That white thing? No. I don't think it is, anyway. I don't remember grabbing anything right there. Maybe it is, and I just always missed it. I don't know. It's whatever. It's creepy tunnel system down here. That's what it is. We don't know what this place holds, though. Okay. Yeah, let's not go this way. Let's go over here to the typewriter and item box. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. And it's this... It's about this point in the game that gets really scary. If it wasn't scary enough. But it's not that scary altogether, but... Period, but... This is probably one of the scariest parts in the game is down here in these tunnels. I don't know if we need the square crank still or not. Hold on, we... I know what we do need. We need shotgun shells and we don't need a pistol. 
But anyway, we might need the square crank, so I'm going to hold on to that. And we're most likely going to need to heal up, so we'll grab an herb. At some point down here, we're probably going to need to heal up. And we'll go ahead and save. I think I'm doing pretty good again. I'll just go over this one though. It doesn't matter Fight your fears and survive never noticed this but you can actually get a close-up of the um, typewriter right here and Jill you can see the um, dagger on her waistline right there I wonder if you can see her from the front no yeah huh that's pretty cool little spot I mean you can see her better in different spots but I didn't know you could zoom into that typewriter at all I just found out that a minute ago my um Adobe crashed while I was trying to record this large boulder blocks the way there are blood stains underneath the boulder yeah so I'm having to redo this which is pretty shitty because I had some good reactions but yeah, Audition decides to crash and not pick up my audio. I didn't get very far, so I just decide to uh, redo the video too. Why not? Huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. Because I'd rather do this than post commentate. Fuck that. Only played for about five minutes anyway. The elevator's power source. There's a round lid. Open it. You got the shaft. It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in its side. Oh. Now, I know this isn't a blind LP, but man, I really wish I could have... I wish Adobe didn't crash. Audition. Because I had some good reactions to some shit on there. Just a minute ago. <clears throat> Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? The stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> Enrico! She's so dumb. I don't... I just... Whoever did this is definitely a professional. I don't think so. Wait, he's holding something. Will you take the crank? Yeah. Um... Yeah, it just feels weird. Enrico is dead. What could he have known? It just feels weird saying the same shit over, so I just didn't say anything really right there. But I was saying last time, like, is she fucking retarded? He just gets shots, and she just looks at him, and then, Enrico! Instead of fucking pulling out her gun and going after the, uh, guy who just shot him. It was right there in the hall with him. Hexagon-shaped crank. I don't know, I was just... I thought that was pretty stupid. Uh. 
no reaction whatsoever. That sucks. I had a good reaction to that guy. That really sucks. That scared the shit out of me a minute ago. Oh well. Gay ass fucking programs have to be gay. No reaction to these guys either. But I'm not fake, so I'm not just gonna pretend like I'm reacting try to reenact what I said the first time but it's all good uh those guys didn't really um uh, I didn't react too much to them anyway just cause you can see them there that guy's just creeping up there on the hill staircase so but that other reaction was great uh Let's see. I'm keeping a close eye on audition now too. Okay, just so that it doesn't happen again. Hexagon hole here, so we'll use the hexagon crank. I don't know if you can examine the uh, ground right there, but it's a big hole in the ground. You can't get across. You probably could uh, check it out, but I didn't. And since we're so close to the item box, I'll stash this herb. Maybe I'll have to try some other recording program sometime soon or something. Huge boulder blocks the way. Not for long. I think I remember what this is right here. Yes, it's a giant spider. All right, what you want to do with this guy? Oh, that's not what you want to do. Don't do that either. Fuck! No, Jill, get away from it! Fuck, man. Oh, fuck, I'm shooting at nothing now. Oh. Got it. About to die in the process, though. We'll take the survival knife. Fuck you, bro. This thing better not kill me. What the fuck?
Alright, there's a bunch of little baby spiders, so we want to exit the room and come back to get rid of those without d killing them. That was pretty horrible. But I'll go ahead and